Previously on Dust World. When Roslo stood up and like revealed himself, all of the like bandits, they all just started running for the exit. Now we follow our heroes. Gage Thane, a dust-casting, sword-wielding monk from the mountains of Black Earth. Clarence Wales, the telepathic child runaway whose mind is strong enough to bring grown men to their knees. Kevin Wolfkin, the sharp-shooting, foul-mouthed, fox-faced hunter from a hidden village of werewolves. Let's see what becomes of them in Dust World. I'm gonna go ahead and pop my swords uh, out and just kind of get into a defensive ready stance and that'll be the end of my turn. Okay, fine. The yoke will be, come out and be like, I thought you said you don't use that, they're good! <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna stay in your closet. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should just retreat and then report to the boss baby. Maybe the boss baby is our only hope. Well, what's what is everyone else doing right now? Because we can kind of see we might not be able to. Retreat. Hey, Preston, roll a d twenty a spot. Uh, Boss Kevin. baby. Sixteen. Okay, so you notice that the bug smell is definitely coming from Zazzle. Roll another d twenty. Just regular. You can't, you can't control yourself. You feel like so much urge to kill her. I guess we're doing oh, this. Gosh. All right. Well, then, then well, I guess we're going to have to kill her. I guess at this point we were discussing retreat. So, Kevin, we're going to retreat. Sound good? I'm going to kill that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. buddy, that, that's not the plan. We, we need to retreat. Like, there's, do you see I the three-armed mutant? I'm gonna kill her. Clarence, I think uh, Kevin might need to be put to sleep. Can you do that? Is that a, is that a power? Guess what? It's Preston's turn. Oh gosh. <laughs> I don't know if he can do it. Okay, let's see. Uh, I mean, I did kind of want to kill her before the. Do I, I can move Stuart like, out. Crazy man. jumping and then land on like the broken uh, Not Zazzle. railing here Razzle. and then shoot down at her. Rizzo or Razzle? Um, the big guys. Razzle. I'm worried about. Like Razzle's what? way what? overpowered. <laughs> I'm not even sure I could combat a mutant with that strength level. He's got three guns. It's not like I can dodge all three of them at once. <laughs> uh, I can use Swartz see? defense, but that'll burn my stamina fast. Well, you might have to do that. We might all have to be. Well, at this point, wait. They what if I control Razzle? Maybe I can control Razzle. Ah, uh, sure. You can try it. Um, let's see. What register is it? What? Huh? I haven't have been registered as a threat. No one's attacking me at this point. Uh, yeah, yeah. So Maybe I need to control Razzle and then end all of this. You have. Maybe. I mean, hey, take the biggest weapon out the door, and then what? He's going to go after us for him killing her? I mean, but then we can. So you can move 42 feet. Maybe. So basically, I can do what I just said. Okay, yeah, that gives you a clear shot of Zazzle as well. Cool. All right, we're going to do this. Apparently. He's going to get killed by She's three super The real question is would I completely logically throw away everything? What do you mean? Because I, if I took her in, possibly there are more people who helped her destroy my village. You know? Yeah, I mean, you can try and interrogate her. You have a lot of options. The question is, like, what exactly would I do? Would I try to get on her good side, then kill her later? I don't know. I feel like you'd be kind of blinded with rage. Like, you might try to, like, interrogate her by, like, shooting off her pinkies. <laughs> just go for her. Just try and kill her. It's fine. I'll I get another turn in a couple... Two, four turns. Eventually I'll help you guys. <laughs> <laughs> just, I think I'm going to, like, distract her greatly by shooting at her. <laughs> I'm going to, uh... Go for the head! Try and read her mind for any and all information that could be in there. Tell me to read her mind? Yes. So his turn is not coming for a while. He just went. 
I didn't just win. Actually, I have like four more. I'm going I'll to get like another four turns. You can read her mind. Okay. I'm probably just going to kill her. Sorry. <laughs> she creeped me out with bugs. She has to die. Okay. Uh, are you going to... Attack, right? Yeah. So, ranged attack. Nice. Mm. I doubt she's dodging that. Not likely. Hasn't might just get her head blown off at this point. That would solve a lot of things. Well, pretty good, but not enough. Uh, so go ahead and roll damage. Okay. <laughs> 16. Wow. Nice. And I already shot her for it. How much did I shoot her for earlier? I'll say about the same. Uh, 12, I think. Yeah... I think it's 12. Uh, what did you take? 16? See? It's fine. I told you it's fine. It's all fine. Uh-huh. Yeah, just wait till that mute decides to take a swing. Okay, at so uh, I'm going to control you the shoot mutant. It's going to be fine. Zazzle, and she's fast enough to like put her hand up and like deflect it from any vital organs. But when, what you notice is when you shoot a hole through her, like it shoots through her hand, her hand, the hole, uh, like you can see bugs moving inside and then like kind of closing it up. She has to die. <laughs> she has to die. <laughs> and she's like, ah, what are you doing? Why would you do such a thing? Because you're a walking bug monster. <laughs> She's like, I thought I recognized you, you stank mutt. So for Kevin have any rational thought the rest of the Why? Time. Is that what you're saying? Okay. Why what? She's like, what why what? Why'd you just shoot me? Why are you Why did you do it? Why did you kill my family? You piece of shit! So she's like, why do you think I did it? For the money! <laughs> she has to die. <laughs> yes, Clarence, you clarify. Okay. Clarence and clarify. Her clarify. head does this. She like starts turning her head like really weird. Oh, so yep. she, oh, and it like kind of turns like oh, <laughs> oh, okay. round a little too far. And then out of her mouth, like little things gonna ah, oh, God. Oh, Okay, God. <laughs> so the other razzle guy, does he not even care? He's just like, oh, oh my, bug people, yeah. No, he, yeah. he doesn't even notice. Like, he's he's not even looking at all. Oh, great. Um, Wouldn't he have some sort of, because that's going to make some creepy noises, like, <laughs> not to mention he'd be looking in the direction just because he saw me shoot her. He, yeah, he, he's looking at you. He doesn't care about her. Um... Saloon girl number powerful comes after uh, the bandit. Maybe she'll finally hit him. That'd be great. <laughs> no, God, what the heck? I'm pretty happy with this. How is this possible? <laughs> she like swings and ends up like just like hitting herself. I know. Yeah, so she misses again, busts up that floor. Douche. Zazzle doesn't holler this time because she's a little busy. <laughs> um, bug yeah, saloon girl number five makes her way over here. How far is that? Fifteen. Wow. So she like climbs up on top of this table. Oh, baby's gonna be so proud of how much problems we've caused in most of the day. Okay, mm-hmm. Razzlo. Oh, we eliminated them all, and this is all that matters. So Razzlo is gonna attack the bandit. It's the source. Oh, thank goodness. That was the sound of 3D20s. Oh my gosh. His accuracy must be terrible though. Uh, he rolled a one. Yeah, so the one will miss, but the other ones will probably both hit, I imagine. And now we get to see the, the bandit roll his uh, dodge. A moment of silence for bandit one. He did his job on Okay, the so point. he's only hit one time. He, he left out. So he gets hit for 16. Yeah, he's dead. So, oh, Henry! 
So Razlo's like, here's a nail for your coffin. Oh, he like gosh. shoots with all three of his guns, but only one of them hits, but it hits like square in between the guy's eyes, and he just like, Ugh, like hits the ground. Hello, players. It's Paul Purnell, your purveyor of fun and exciting stories. You know, your GM. I could also be your second best friend if you want. Anyway, if you're interested in putting a shout out in the show or being a sponsor, please email us at business at paulparnell.com. We would love to hear your feedback on the show and the characters, and you can find all of our social links in the show notes below to connect with us. We also really appreciate you sharing the show with your friends. Every like and share and follow just really means so much to us. We just want to say thank you. Finally, let us know if you would be interested in a Dust World beta that you could play with your friends. We really appreciate you playing along with us. Now let's see what happens. This is why I didn't want to fight the mutant. It's okay, I'll control the mutant and I'll be fine. And he's dead. He's a dead guy. Um... With a wall of saloon girls behind him, apparently. Yeah, Jim, he's dead. Uh, let's see. Come Okay. I'm a doctor, not a mortician. Wait, how did her... Oh, okay, that wasn't her. Um, let's see. Zazzle is going to... Yeah, let's do that. Zazzle opens her mouth... Oh gosh. And, and releases like a horde of bugs oh. and it creates a bug cloud oh. that swarms Kevin. <laughs> oh <God. laughs> uh, I guess roll dodge. No, there's no dodging. Uh, what do you mean there's no dodging? I mean, it's not your turn and it's not an attack. Uh, oh. Um, it's going to be a hard day for Kevin. Nope, it's going to be fine. We're about to solve this. Okay. Imagine those three guns aimed okay. at her. Imagine him having enough willpower to defeat that. I got to roll high. Okay, so... You're going to roll one. In this yeah. section, it's now uh, minus five to hit. Go ahead and that section. I'm still chilling by the bar. Um, let's see. Does Zazzle do anything else? I don't think so. All right. Well, actually, yes. Zazzle's going to move away. Zazzle's like, Razzlo, do your job. And she... Wait, I'm confused. You moved the bugs, not her. I know. It's because the bugs was on top and I needed to move her. Um... She's going to move here. Okay. And <laughs> it is now Clarence's turn. Oh, and Preston, uh, roll Spock. Spock Chuck. Spock Chuck. I don't want this problem. Okay, so you notice that the cloud of bugs is like pretty thick all around you, but they're staying away from the fire. Pick up an ember, boy. Um, hmm. Um, hmm. Uh, okay. Will those bugs get in the way of me trying to take over the three gun boy? Uh, probably not. Let's do it. We gotta do it. Pray for me. We're doomed. It's fine. If she's even alive, or if she's just a horde of creepy bugs. That was, that was great. 16. That was great. 16. That'll, that'll take him. <laughs> Do I have an act? Maybe he'll roll really badly. Uh, Did he? He rolled 17. Oh, so close. Uh, uh, yeah. I still have Stuart, right? Uh, no, no. No, didn't think so. Uh, also, that uses one of your turn. Yeah, I know, control. I know. Yeah, okay. I think I got Okay. It's okay. Uh, you can still move if you want to, like, run away or something. Or hide, I don't know. <laughs> hide further in the corner. Yeah. I can't exactly move about very much. Yep. Are you done? 
Uh, I can't do anything else, can I? Mm, I don't know. I feel like a failed control is like kind of your attack action. That's it. Yeah, same. Action. Okay, girl 13. <laughs> so girl 13 is now moving to flank Preston. I mean, Kevin. You're so bad at this. Girl 12 jumps down onto the piano. Uh, Gage, you have to go after Zazzle. Girl 9 is making it over Gage. here. Yeah. It's our only way out of this. Okay, so She's girl, turned into a so terrible girl nightmare. number 2 here. You go on her swords blazing. She use your ultimate attack. Use sand. Whatever. Jumps over this. She doesn't handle fire well. Gets in I'm front of Zazzle. Fire. I'm out of incendiary powder, that was all. Okay, then you slice her to death. Uh, I'll let you know how that works out. I have, I have ideas of my own that work. So this girl's I hate bugs. trying to get down the stairs. Oh, actually, Stuart hates she can bugs. Probably get we both hate bugs. To hit, hate them to you. Okay. Person. As long as we're on and the same page. Like it. <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> it's true. Okay, roll dodge. Okay, okay, you dodge. And she breaks more of Zazzle's crappy bar. No, she's not the strong one. That doesn't mean a bit of momentum on a broken you know, set of stairs. If anything, you sure. should roll to have her not fall through the holes in the stairs. Okay, so three-gun guy doesn't notice a swarm of insects. Like emerging from the bartender, I think he's controlled. He doesn't care, so he knows that that that's going to make things a little bit worse. Well, he's a mutant. She's a mutant. Maybe they're lovers. <laughs> that's weird, like, dude. You're not going to be doing? able to. It's your turn. Huh? I was seeing the distance. See if I could manage it. Can you? I think so. Twenty-five feet. Yeah, that's well within my range. Sure. Okay, so I'm going to run over. And, uh... She looks of, weird now, too. I know. Yeah, I, have a couple of, I have a couple of options I'm debating on how I want to, uh... Now you know how I felt. Eliminate said person slash threat. Which I think mine's gonna we, be... Like, take a canister of explosive black powder, I'm shove out. it down her butt I'm mouth, out. Watch her head explode. I'm out of that. As I'm running over, I'm just gonna go ahead and, like, since I know she's, like, kinda got creepy crazy... I'm just gonna drop my swords on the way over, and right when I get up to her, I'm just gonna explode spikes from my clothes, pretty much, to like hit her full in the face. Okay. So my my outfit. I honestly in, in meta my outfit, everything except my undergarments is made of dust, and I've shifted it, so pretty much I'm a living weapon at this point. That's pretty awesome. No, yeah, <laughs> it's it, me and Paul brainstormed this said little. That, I I mean, okay, when the bugs were reforming her hand. Mm -hmm. Was it like working within flesh or was it just she's pure bug? It was underneath the skin. Okay, so there's some vague exactly. human. In okay, yeah, then go for That's that. That's why. No, I already thought that through because that was Okay. Weird. So I'm assuming uh, damage Very from smart. dust is going to be running. Yep. Okay. If there's anything uh, first, less, I'll well, Roll to hit with range. Okay. With range, I'm going to be right up close in her face. It's more about. Oh, sure. Roll like, with me. Like my spikes are going to shoot up from yep. my. Okay. Yeah, it's. Gonna say, uh, just attack, just attack two swords, or I don't really no, have one, one sword attack. Oh, okay. Target you. Sixteen. Okay, and then go ahead and roll your dust ability, uh, whichever, however many. I can put it the three pretty much on all of them at this point, except for move. But this isn't really move. This is more of. Shape. Yeah. So, yeah. Explain to me what, why, and then what and how. Huh? Why, what, and how? Okay. So, what are you doing? I am running up. So, as I get up to her, I've dropped my swords. I'm pretty much creating myself into where, like, I can just full on dust bin. I'm not using my canister. This is just my clothes that are made of dust. Yeah. As I get like pretty much right up in her face, I'm just gonna hold out my arms like this and yeah. spikes. And it's only and your trench coat is made of dust. Just then I pretty much take trench coat, trench coat, all of this, yeah, this just, trench coat, all these spikes, it comes just like spikes stabbing her at close, pretty much blunt, yeah. point blank range, and I'm pretty so much. You're just like spawn caping her. Pretty much, like. 
Okay, yeah. and now what are you going to use to do it? Like what skills? Well, it probably is going to involve shift to an extent, because you know I'm shifting it from, because my clothes I'm hoping yeah, will come back right. once I'm done. Um, so shift, I don't know if you'd count move towards that necessarily. You could. Um, let me see. Because I have, what are the other two ones for this? Dust move, shape. Uh, shape probably and dust cast. Which makes... Probably shape and cast would be my strongest runs on that, okay. I'd say. So, and I've got three in both of those. I mean, basically you could put some from each in there. So I could put up to six in this hit, right? As many as the levels. levels you have. Okay. And I have two free uses, so this is only one of each of my uses too, which is... Okay. What are your levels? Three, so, three for all of them. Three for all Except of them? Except for a boo, which is two. Okay, so you could do... What, like three, 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 nine, ten, eleven. So you could do like up to eleven. On this hit. Total. Yeah. Yeah. I think that sounds pretty good to me. Okay, good. So, damage with dust? Yep. Okay. Put eleven in there. Okay. Do it! I hit it. Oh gosh, it's like loading. That's... This is gonna be... It's rolling 11 d Oh my gosh! <laughs> 70 damage! 70! And <laughs> this is why I didn't want to do it by hand. Infinite Pixel is a proud member of Nerdsmith.org, a collaborative network for delivering nerdy entertainment, fan-supported, and shared with all. If you would like to support Dust World or any of our other shows, you can go to Nerdsmith.org and click Donate. Dust off your dice and hold on to your butts. Do you love magic, mystery, intrigue, and romance? Of course you do. Meet Rowan, the enigmatic bard. Atlas, the blacksmith, what a heart of gold. Kristoff, the sorcerer who enchants with both fact and fiction. Join our heroes as they unmake the best laid plans of their indomitable DM in The, the Lost Stupid. Stupid.